Is that it? <sighs> Hi and welcome to Extronical. We've got a look at connecting up one of these small OLED screens to an ESP32. This is a 128x64 and these have been done to death with Arduino. In fact, I did a video two or three years ago on one of these as well. I think it was my first ever video I did. Dead easy to connect up to Arduino and a little surprise, it's actually very easy to connect up to an ESP32 as well. So let's look at the hardware connections. So we've got ground, connected to ground, shocker, and VCC, VDD, connected to all your positive rail. And in fact, all I'm doing here on the ESP32 and all you do on the Arduino is I've got the 3 volt 3 connection going to this rail, which goes all around my board. So the 3 volt 3 connection is effectively connected to this screen. I could have easily, if I just wanted to keep it simple, connect that right to the 3 volt 3, 3 volt three connection there if I wanted to as well but I like to keep up my power rail so I've connected that to a power rail, I've connected all my power rails together so that's just connected up to the ESP32's 3 volt 3 rail, 3.3 volt rail and then we've got the ground rail for the ESP32 there as well just like I said and I've got two more connections, I've got a clock which is labelled SCK on here sometimes you might see it as SCL and we've got SDA which is the data connection the data connection goes to pin 21 which is there on the SP32 and the clock goes to pin 22 and those are the I squared C connections on the SP32. So that's that. Let's have a look at the software you need to get it going and also one small trip up you might come across which is the same for Arduino as is for ESP32. Let's look at that. Okay so let's get the required libraries first. So let's go to uh, sketch, include library, manage libraries and into your library manager. Now, the first thing we'll get is the actual uh, library for the board. So SSD1306 is the name of the drive you need to get. And the one you, I'd recommend is this Adafruit SSD1306 driver here. And you can select the version, but I just go for the newest version. I've got, I think, yep, the newest version installed there. After that, you do need another library from Adafruit, which is their graphics library, so we can draw all sorts of fancy lines and triangles and what have you. So, Adafruit uh, GFX, I think, does it. There we go. And again, I've got it installed, but you just install that library there and ensure you get the latest version. Once you've got the library, you can bring up an example. Let's have a look. So, File. And examples, I'm looking for something to do with Adafruit SSD1306, where is it? Down and down and down and down we go. And it's, you're probably all shouting the fact that it's actually gone past, hasn't it? There it is, SSD1306. And we've got, my particular screen is the 128x64 I2C, so that's the one we want. There's the example. And this is where you might trip up. The, if you buy one of these screens from Adafruit, it will come with an I2C address. And I've been through I2C address in a video a long, long time ago. But their I2C address to talk to that screen is hex 3D. It's in this line here where you're in the setup. So in your setup routine there, and 0x3D is the address of their screen. However, these cheap ones coming from China, because I, like a lot of people, we run on a very tight budget, try and keep things as cheap as we can. These ones that you come from China tend to have the address of 3C. In fact, I've bought maybe about 10 of these screens over the last couple of years or so, maybe, maybe one or two more, and every single one has been 3C. If you do not change that 3D to a 3C, it'll upload and your screen will just be blank and you'll be very disappointed and you'll be shouting at me and saying, I've done something wrong. And I haven't. You forgot to change that. So change that to 3D to 3C and you'd then upload that to your board. Let's have a look at the board, plug that in and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's plug it in. I've uploaded that to the board. Let's see what we get on this Adafruit demo. Whack that in. And I'll just move it across and we'll zoom in in post. And it just goes through a very standard Adafruit demo they tend to use for all their screens, colour and everything. And it'll just keep on going through there. So it's as simple as that. 
just as easy as connecting to an Arduino. So that's it for this video. Hope you've liked it. If you do, give us that old sort of like thumbs up thing. Let's get my sort of hand in shot. If you really liked it, you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe. And thank you very much for those that support me on Patreon. And of course, I'm going to go, as always, thank you very much for watching this video. That's it for now. Catch you next time.